we're in my neighborhood today and starting the day off with a quick 30 minute walk. It's nice starting at seven because it's dark of course when you get out here, but at 7.30 it's light and the day has started. It's really beautiful. So there's actually a lot of science behind this. Um, number one, just walking reduces your overall mortality rate. Of course, it's gonna burn calories. It fires up the hippocampus too. So, you know, it's, it's good for reducing anxiety, solving problems, and then also getting light first thing in the morning helps to solidify that circadian rhythm. So if you have issues with like your sleep-wake cycle, waking up first thing and getting that natural light is an amazing way to get you back on track. There's a no trespassing sign, I go through that. There's a natural spring down there. It's like, please stay out of the natural spring. I'm like, I'm not gonna mess anything up, I promise. You have to get scientific, you have to get precise and really learn what works for your body and do that year round versus just a few weeks at a time. In that consistency, you'll form lasting habits and lasting habits lead to a lifestyle. And when you have it as a lifestyle, that's for the rest of your life. Keep the door closed because of the cap. The struggle is finding the perfect sauce for the morning. This is just plain long grain white rice. I do like 140-ish grams. Got a carb up for the day. Fun fact about the white rice, if you cook it and you cool it overnight, it's, it forms what's called resistant starch. And it's amazing for gut health and can actually lower the caloric value of the rice. And so this is wild caught salmon. Typically I'll do about three ounces, three and a half ounces. It's tastier than it looks, I promise. I do the wild caught because it's high in omega-3, which is the, the good fats. Top it with some añejo. This stuff is amazing. And I don't watch sodium, none of that. Love spices, love acidity, love heat. I think it's important when you're doing contest prep to make sure your foods taste good. I don't necessarily see the food as food right now. It's fuel, it's nourishment, it helps with recovery. Do I miss eating big meals? Sometimes, but you know what tastes better than that? Victory. So this is my office, and this is where I do all my work, the filming for YouTube intros and outros, and these are my trophies. And it's a mix now of figure and bikini, mostly figure, so I won Olympia twice in figure. Shrew Classic, New Zealand, Australia, been all over the place for figure. And then for bikini, it's my second place and my first pro victory, the Tahoe Pro. So the trophies are great, they live here, but I think what's important about those is that they've helped me build a foundation and a platform to be able to reach more people. So from that, I've been able to start several businesses. My main business is it's online coaching for a ladies group. And it's just nice to not only give back, but to make a living doing it. When I first started competing, I was not in a good spot in my life. So I had a, a career in real estate. The market had tanked at that point. I failed in personal relationships. I actually was in an abusive relationship. My ex that I was with ended up killing the next girl he was with. I, I was in fear of my life. And as soon as I stood up and I took ownership of everything in my life that had gone wrong, and realize that, okay, I'm at rock bottom. I can't fall any farther than this. The only place to go is up. And I stopped feeling sorry for myself. That's when the change happened, when I took ownership. It has made me stronger. It has made me appreciate those struggles. It has made me appreciate the good times. And now, I don't have anything left to prove except to myself. And I'm doing this out of love for the people who follow me, for the people who believe in me. And this time it feels good. This time I'm running towards something rather than running away from something.
So Earl Nightingale defines success as the progressive realization of a worthy goal. That means you hold the yardstick to your success. So you define what that success means. So going back to winning versus losing, that's not something that you have control over. I have control over bringing a better physique to stage each time and changing my physique year to year. And that's where I find the motivation. I find something that stretches me, that challenges me. And it, it's just been a fun journey in the last couple of years.